Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury on a budget, so if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe, like the videos that you enjoy, and click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video. I want to say up front, in my previous video, I said that I was going to be posting a Q&A today, not this video. Uh, I did have a Q&A planned. I got a lot of fantastic questions from you, but I have not been able to film it yet. The reason for that is I'm filming this. It is currently 5.30 p.m. on Friday, so the night before this video goes live. And I haven't been able to film all day because right outside my window, a bunch of people decided to get jackhammers and tear up the street. They've been redoing our street for a few months now. They did a portion right in front of us, oh God, it seems like a month or so ago. I thought they were done with our area and whatever they were doing. They're not. so. I couldn't film because of all the noise that was outside all day. It was pretty consistent and the Q&A is going to take a while so I didn't have time. But I will get to it. Hopefully they won't be working out there on Sunday and I can film then and get it up soon afterward. Thank you so much for all the great questions because there's some really good ones. I'm excited about it. Alright, the video today is called The Luxury Items I Would Steal From YouTubers Tag. I was tagged by Chic Professor. Thank you, Chic Professor, for tagging me. That was started by Caitlin Pawlowski, and I hope I said your name right. I have both of those videos linked below, so please go watch them when you are done with this one. The idea behind this is that you look at other YouTubers' collections of luxury items. It's not specific to handbags. You pick some items that you would love to steal from them, given the chance, not that you would actually steal from them. I'm not gonna give any more disclaimers about how wrong it is to steal from people. If you wanna see an amazing, funny, Perfect disclaimer, go look at the original video by Caitlin. Hers is awesome. And stealing is wrong. That said, here are the things that I would steal from my friends. I have 10 items. I actually have a, a much longer list because I was going through some of my favorite YouTubers and their collections, but I decided to narrow it down to only 10 items. And Jill Maurer, four of those items belong to you, so I am on my way. Three of the pieces are her jewelry that she designed. She happens to be a jewelry designer and makes some really incredible pieces. There are three at the top of my list for theft, and those are, and I'll put pictures of all these things here as I list them, so those are the Buried Treasure Oak Ring. I asked her what oak means because it's O-O-A-K. I always thought it had something to do with trees because a lot of her jewelry has, or all of her jewelry, has a connection to nature, so it made sense to me that oak would connect to an oak tree somehow, like she has an oak line of jewelry, but she spelled it with two O's instead of one, and so I asked her what that meant, and she said it means one of a kind, which made me feel kind of dumb. I'm not great with acronyms, I guess, but this is the Buried Treasure Oak Ring, and it is gorgeous. And I don't know if you're even supposed to stay oak or, or call it one of a kind. I, I, I don't know. Someone help me. Next is the Palisade Oak Ring. I'm just going to call them oak pieces. Oh wait, this is a bracelet. The Palisade Oak Bracelet. This is my favorite of all of her pieces uh, as far as what would fit into my wardrobe the best. Personally, I mean, if I was like, if I had my pick and I could get her to design a piece just for me, I would do a ring instead of the bracelet on this. And the only reason for that is because I'm on my computer a lot typing and doing different things and I feel like I would mess up a bracelet by having that around my wrist, especially something as nice and unique as this. So I would love to have actually the next ring, the Palisade Oak Ring, but with those green stones from the bracelet and maybe a few of those diamonds thrown in. So Jill, you can get on that for me for my 40th birthday that's coming up soon. She knows I'm kidding. Now the rest of the items are more traditional to my channel, handbags and SLGs. Um, there is one particular, there are several handbags in Jill's beautiful and unique collection that I would love to have, but one at the top of my list is her Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 that's the collaboration with Kusama, and it's the white Kusama dots. I happen to have the matching bag charm for that with the white dots, and I think it's only fair that I should have the bag to go along with it, so I'm on my way. The next YouTuber I would steal from is Yota Style, 
And she has also several pieces, probably all these people have several pieces I'd be interested in, but I was really trying to narrow it down. And, you know, I am not a backpack kind of girl. I've said that before in a few videos. I, I think because I'm a teacher, I just don't want a backpack. I, I associate them with children and not with adults. However, Yota has a backpack in her collection by Fendi. It is this monogram flap backpack and I just love it. There's something about this bag with the drawstring, with the colors, with that little monogram on the black and the, the little bit of red thrown in. It is just like a little showstopper for me. It catches my eye every time I see her film in her closet and it's sitting there. I really love that piece. The next person I would steal from is my friend Will McKayson. And this is an item that he just recently unboxed for us and and several pieces I'd want from him, but this particular one I have been obsessed with lately, and it is the Louis Vuitton Desk Agenda. He got his in monogram. I'm not sure which print I would want, but I'd be okay with the monogram if I could sneak into his apartment and grab it. Lux Purse Love also has an amazing collection, and there is one bag that's actually, it's gotta be one of the least expensive, right? So I'm not even going for her Chanel's here. She has a Longchamp Le Pliage tote. It's a limited edition in a navy blue with little stars on it and the trim is a black patent leather. Oh my God, I'd never seen that before until I watched her Longchamp collection video and I have not forgotten about it since then. It is beautiful. I haven't been able to find one for sale to purchase. So I think my only option is to go steal it from her. I've been on the lookout for a few months now for a black tote, the perfect black tote, and the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and Epi, I love it every time I see it, but I feel like it would be a little stiff and boxy. I was at Saks a few months ago and I found this Valentino Rockstud tote and Wendy's Loving Life recently purchased this. I love this bag. I would really love to have this in my collection. That's one I'd steal from Wendy's collection. Carol Summer has a bag. Carol Summer, again, has several bags that I would be interested in having. I live vicariously through Carol Summer sometimes, and I really like her taste in bags. She has, in my opinion, a bit of an edginess to her handbag collection, and one of my favorites of those is her Loewe puzzle bag, the small black size. I love it. I love how edgy and a little unusual it is and it's kind of versatile. It's something that she has said that she's really enjoyed. I would love to hop on a plane and go get that from you, Carol. And the last item I'll mention here is sort of the piece de resistance. When Chic Professor tagged me in this and I started thinking about what bags I would steal, this was the very first one that came to mind. Leo Lion LV Lookout. I want your Louis Vuitton Alma race bag. That is so beautiful. And it's so not my style at all, but it is gorgeous. It is stunning. It's eye-catching. It's a showstopper. And I just love it to pieces. I'm going to tag the people that I just stole from. It's only fair, right? Jill Maurer, Yota Style, Will McKayson, Lux Purse Love, Wendy's Loving Life, Carol Summer, and Leo Lion LV. I tag all of you to make a video on what luxury items you would steal from other people's collections. Thanks again to Chic Professor for tagging me and to Caitlin Pawlowski for starting this tag. And thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.